Chapter 31 Regretting Capture As Lin Ming saw the two officers approach with rope in hand, Lin Ming shook his sleeves and coldly said, You want to tie me up, but once you do, there won't be a good outcome for you. You want to get out of this situation? Don't even think about it. Once you're in my hands you'll never escape, ha ha. Wang Yigao happily laughed to himself a few hundred times as the success of the situation got to his head. Even though he was the one that was injured, his smile was unsightly and moreover these would clearly contain the suggestion that he wanted some sort of accident to befall Lin Ming in jail. Wang Yigao turned his head and saw that Zhao Mingshan was staring at him with an ugly and disgusted expression on his face. Wang Yigao coughed, said with a bit of embarrassment, Brother Zhao, I will let you investigate the situation. I was just a bit angry and overreacted. This little rat was just too damn arrogant. Lin Ming dusted himself and said to Zhao Mingshan, It is your responsibility to ensure the public safety of the seven profound martial house entrance exam. Someone had just tried to run me through on this main road with a lance, and you did not come. Someone tried to plot my death by getting a bunch of morons to beat me and leave me disabled, and you did not come. And yet when I finally fight back with the lance, you finally come, and you don't even attempt to ask the crowd watching any questions and single-handedly decided that I was the guilty one, are you playing with me? Lin Ming spoke, pronouncing each word unhurriedly, and each word was punishing and caused Zhao Mingshan's heart to sink. This kid really had some guts. How could he be so calm in this situation? What was he relying on? Xiao Mingshan looked at Lin Ming and decided that he couldn't drag this matter on any further and began to say angrily, This is official business. It's not up to the likes of you to comment on the process. Tie him up. When he issued the order, the rope had already wrapped tightly around Lin Ming's neck. Even though Lin Ming was capable, Xiao Mingshan was already at the fourth stage of body transformation, so he did not resist. At this moment a familiar voice cried out from the crowd, Make way, let me through! Lin Ming looked up and was surprised to see a plump youth twisting and squeezing his way past the mob of people. In his hand was a rattling lunch box. It was Lin Xiaodong. When Lin Ming had been meditating just a moment ago, Lin Xiaodong had gone to buy breakfast and had just arrived back to see a commotion. As soon as Lin Xiaodong saw the rope wrapped around Lin Ming's neck, his heart was suddenly inflamed. Shit! Why the hell did you fuckers tie him up? Zhao Mingshan did not know where this brave fat boy came from, and was preparing to wave the command to throw him away, when in the corner of his eye he saw light spark of light. As he turned his head he saw that a faint fire had ignited in Lin Ming's hand. Sound transmitting talisman? Zhao Mingshan's eyes widened. The talisman could record voices and transfer them. They were used to communicate. This boy had obviously used it just now without their knowledge and had recorded their conversation and transmitted it. This guy. Zhao Mingshan felt an inexplicable chill in the air as he looked at this youth. Today he had offended him. Later he would come looking for revenge. It seemed he really did have to tolerate Wang Yigao's idiotic plans and kill him. Otherwise there would be no end to his future troubles. But... Who has he transmitted the talisman to? Lin Ming had naturally sent the talisman to Mr. Mui. Previously, Mui and Lin Ming had exchanged tips about inscription techniques and had become good friends. Mui had told him that as long as there was the marshal's quarters, then he could guarantee his absolute safety in Sky Fortune City. As long as there was any trouble, he could just send a talisman to inform him. Although Lin Ming was brave and courageous, he was not a hothead who would let his impulses rashly dictate his actions without paying attention to the possible consequences. Before he had struck Wang Yigao, he already had a plan for this situation. He wasn't going to let a little matter like this be something that could stop him. He would just simply owe Mui a future favor. Although Mui was in the government and serving the court as the crown prince's tutor, he was not a court official. In his heart he was still a man of the world and those that dwelled in that world valued loyalty and friendship above all else. Mui was not a man who spoke or agreed to anything easily or thoughtlessly. When he had asked to be Lin Ming's friend, he had said so with all the conviction in his heart. Hearing the recording from the sound transmitting talisman, Mui had a good grasp of the situation that was occurring. He sighed with disgust. 
He had always been disgusted by the government officials or lesser officers who curried favor with powerful people. Not to mention that Lin Ming was his close friend, behind him was also an unfathomable master. Even if he were not related to this matter, he would still meddle in it. Mui was lax when it came to keeping up with all the bureaucratic nonsense, and didn't know many powerful people who could immediately handle this situation. The only one he could think of to deal with this was his student, the Crown Prince Yang Lin. He sent a sound transmitting talisman to Yang Lin. Crown Prince Yang Lin had always deeply admired and respected his teacher. If Mu Yi requested a matter of him, he would naturally do everything possible to carry it out. So Yang Lin then sent a personal message to the minister of the police department. The emperor and the crown prince used a unique purple gold sound transmitting talisman. At this moment, the minister was hugging a concubine and giggling and laughing while enjoying some romantic times with her. As soon as he saw the purple gold flash, he immediately rolled out of his chair. This message was from the crown prince's sound transmitting talisman. After he learned the reason why the crown prince had sent him a message, the minister felt as if someone had smashed a rock on his head. His legs turned to jelly and he felt suffocated as he said, Forgive this lowly one for not being strict. My supervision was truly lacking. Each word he said caused his heart to skip a beat. He certainly knew what sort of person Zhao Mingshan was. He was part of the General Wang's palace guard and the youth was a boy of indeterminate background. It was easy to see how Zhao Mingshan would handle this matter. But this boy was unexpectedly a person of the crown prince. Zhao Mingshan, you are your mom's drop-dead bastard. You actually made I, your father, suffer such a mess. Like hell! Why did you tie him up? Lin Xiaodong huffed and puffed. Zhao Mingshan waved his hand and pointed at Lin Xiaodong. Obstructing official business and insulting the captain of the police force. Officers, tie him up for me. Zhao Mingshan sent two officers to grab Lin Xiaodong. The officers were mostly at the second stage of body transformation, and they were not some walking potatoes like Wang Yigao. They had solid foundations and combat training. Lin Xiaodong was only at the first stage. But even though he could not resist, he still struggled a bit and screamed like an angry duck. You dare to touch me. You remember my face. I'll pay this back to you with full interest. Shut his mouth, Zhao Mingshan said a bit frantically and a man gagged Lin Xiaodong with a cloth strip between his lips. The result was that the steady stream of curses became an inaudible whining sound. Let's go! As soon as Xiao Mingshan waved his hand, they trotted down the road with Lin Ming and Lin Xiaodong strapped to the horse's backs. In just a bit of time they were already several miles down the road. Wang Yigao was behind them. He suddenly laughed and said, Brother Zhao, put them down, let's drag them through. He wanted to drag the two men behind the galloping horses. It was interesting, but Zhao Mingshan did not answer. At this moment, there was suddenly a red light in front of him that burst into a mass of light. It was a sound transmitting talisman. The sound transmitting talisman directly transmitted the sounds to one's mind. Others would not be able to hear it. The flash dissipated. Zhao Mingshan's voice rang with the sound of the minister of the police department roaring at him at maximum volume. Fuck your mom and listen to me. Release those people. Do you even know who is behind that boy? It is the crown prince. Did you want to fucking revolt against me? You even dare to touch someone that is the crown prince's person. Your fucking mom, do you even know how to spell the character dead? If you want to die don't drag me down with you. Xiao Mingshan, I swear to you if anyone comes troubling me I will kill you myself. Xiao Mingshan was scolded so loudly that he thought his head would explode. His whole body stiffened and his mind blanked. Crown Prince? Xiao Mingshan suddenly stopped the horses and looked to Lin Ming with his jaw geki. Lin Ming was also looking at him at him the same calm and indifferent eyes that he'd been all along, like he were some ordinary clown. He remembered the sound transmitting talisman that Lin Ming had sent out. That was for the crown prince. What sort of existence was the crown prince? He was just a young police captain. He would probably never encounter anything that was related to the crown prince in his life. His heart was shocked with unspeakable words. He finally understood the meaning behind Lin Ming's gaze. 
I do say, Brother Zhao, now is a good time. There isn't anyone watching, so in any case, let's drag them along, they shouldn't die. Wang Yigao said with a smile and a he he. I'll fucking drag your mom. When he heard Wang Yigao speak this nonsense he had an urge to draw his sword and chop him in half. If it weren't for this idiot then how could he have fallen into this predicament? Everyone dismount. Release them. As soon as Xiao Mingshan ordered this, his men were shocked. Wang Yigao was also shocked. Release them? Wang Yigao was not a total fool. He thought to that sound transmitting talisman. Was it related? However, Zhao Mingshan said nothing else besides the order. Wang Yigao was very unhappy about this turn of events and was preparing to argue. But at that moment, another sound transmitting talisman also burst into flames in front of him. As soon as he heard the message, Wang Yigao almost dropped to the floor. This was the sound transmitting talisman that his father personally sent out. It only had a few words. Return immediately to me. Wang Yigao was able to feel the chill in his father's tone. He had no doubt that when he returned, he would be in for a world of pain. Since one party was the crown prince's person and the other party was the son of General Wang, the police department naturally sent out a sound transmitting talisman to explain the situation to General Wang. General Wang hadn't felt such anger before. The throne was changing, and it was a sensitive time, and this Wang Yigao decided to annoy the crown prince. Although he didn't know what connection this boy had to the crown prince, even if it was too much. Because of a small matter, it was enough for the crown prince to decide to select someone else for his position and remove him. He really wanted to kill this good-for-nothing son. Xiao Mingshan saw Wang Yigao freeze with terror at receiving the sound transmitting talisman. He immediately barked at his men. Why are you still holding them? Release them now! After being reprimanded, the men began to panic. They went to untie the rope, but Lin Ning sneered. You want to tie me up, so you tied me up. Now you want release me? I already told you, once you do, there won't be a good outcome for you. Chapter 32 Oppress with Others' Power Xiao Mingshan gaped at Lin Ning. He recalled that Lin Ning had once said the words you want to tie me up, but once you do, there won't be a good outcome for you. Faced with such a superior backing, Zhao Mingshan had no choice but to lower his head and play as a dog for this boy. Even though this was a heavy loss of face for him, it was nothing in comparison to keeping his own little life. Zhao Mingshan immediately changed his countenance. His whole face locked up with a forced smile as he said, It appears that we accidentally fished out two dragon kings. These two fellow brothers, today was truly just a silly misunderstanding. I hope you can show some mercy and overlook my transgressions. You people, quickly untie these two fellows. Although he hadn't been untied yet, Lin Xiaodong's gag cloth was taken out, and he was a bit perplexed. But Lin Ming had given him all sorts of surprises these days, so he adapted quickly. Was it that elusive and mysterious master that Lin Ming had spoken of? To Lin Xiaodong, such a powerful and mighty being was only a foreign concept to him. But in any case, with someone like that backing them up, he had no need to fear these idiots. Fuck your whole family. Fuck your mom and your family, you little motherfuckers. Lin Xiaodong let out a string of epithets as the officers struggled to unwind the ropes that bound his large body. They were pushed aside by Lin Xiaodong as he rolled around. You think that you tie me up and let me go whenever you want? Lin Xiaodong had originally suffered a loss of face. But now that he had the upper hand, he naturally would return the favor. Zhao Mingshan had nothing he could do but to take the words and suffer silently. He smiled and painstakingly said, Little brothers, I was blind and foolish. Would you be merciful and overlook these matters today? I would truly be grateful if you somehow allow us to compensate you. Lin Xiaodong crooked his neck. These officers of the police department only had a tiny salary with a bit of gold that they scraped up off the books. Lin Xiaodong did not have a liking for any of this money, so what was the point of offering it to him? At this time, Lin Xiaodong happened to see Wang Yigao off to the side. He was taking advantage of the distraction to make his escape. Lin Xiaodong angrily said, Stop! Whose mother said to let that kid go? Return here right now! Wang Yigao nearly fell off of his horse as he heard these words. The turn of events and frightened him silly. 
His father was waiting for him to return home for punishment. This was an absolute nightmare. Now even seeing Lin Ming made his heart shudder with dread. Forget retaliating. If he ever saw Lin Ming again, he would make a full effort to scamper away. Not only did Wang Yigao fear Lin Ming, but he also didn't know what kind of backing Lin Ming had. Whatever it was, it was greater than anything he could compare with. Losing the only advantage he had, Wan Yi Gao finally realized he was completely inferior to Lin Ming. You, what do you want? You want to get away? You think there is anything in this whole world that is that easy? Lin Xiaodong had a sudden inspiration. He turned to several officers. You there, beat this guy up. Wang Yi Gao trembled as he heard this. Zhao Mingshan grimaced. Now he really didn't know if he could preserve his own head. If they hit Wang Yigao anymore, he really might die. Zhao Mingshan looked to Lin Ming with a pleading look. Lin Ming finally said, Consider this finished. There's no point dealing with this kind of person. He looked to Wang Yigao and asked, I ask you, when you came up to stir trouble, I saw that there were also people spying on me from the blue carriage. Was that Zhu Yan? Wang Yigao felt his stomach fall. Did this man have eyes on the back of his head? He had already thoroughly feared Lin Ming, but now that fear was deepening as terror filled his eyes. He still didn't speak, so Lin Ming took a single step towards him, and coldly said, Yes or no? Wang Yigao's heart stopped, and he clenched his teeth. He nodded. Today's matter was also thought up by Zhu Yan? Wang Yigao nodded again. Good. You may go. Lin Ming was already thinking that this was the case. Xu Yan did not want him to enter the Seven Profound Martial House. Wang Yigao was just a pawn that had been used to prevent him from taking part in the entrance exam. Lin Ming did not want to bother with such a small bit player again. The reason was because Wang Yigao's father was the general. Lin Ming also knew discretion, and he had already left behind some hidden true essence in him that would leave him confined to his bed for a period. Zhao Mingxiao breathed a sigh of relief as he heard Lin Ming. He hurried forward to personally untie them. Lin Xiaodong flexed his chubby wrists and looked at Zhao Mingxian who had jumped off a black-maned horse. Lin Xiaodong had a sharp eye for money, and he understood at a glance that this horse was a superior breed. Although they couldn't compare with the snow-white horses of the marshal's quarters, their value was no less than 500 gold tails. We're fine, you don't need to send us off. Leave behind two horses. That black maned horse is also nice. I'll take it. Zhao Mingxiao's mouth twitched as he heard this. This horse was his beloved and treasured beauty. But he clenched his teeth and said, If these fellow brothers like my horse, feel free to ride her. Ha! Then don't mind me being impolite. Lin Xiaodong said. He leapt up and his pudgy body seated on the black maned horse. Ha ha, let's go! As they left the group, Lin Xiaodong was in an excellent mood. Shit, that was better than getting money. I've never felt so great in my life. Not only did that idiot Gao Wang learn his lesson, but even the captain gave me his own horse. Haha, <laughs> this is what they call the great life. Lin Ming smiled and said, We borrowed others' power and influence today, but anyone can rely on connections to do that. If we really want to feel great, then we must get strong ourselves and depend on our own strength to intimidate the world. Then no one would dare to bother us. That feeling would really be great. Intimidate the world? Ha ha, Brother Lin, I don't have such grand dreams as you. I'm fine with relying on others' power and influence. How about this, Brother Lin? When one day your name is known across the world, you cover for me. I'll tell them your name and frighten them off. Okay. Lin Ming laughed out loud. The two were originally only brought three or four miles down the road. They galloped on their horses and in a short while arrived back at the square. In the square were still a sea of people. It seemed that the strength trial had just begun. Lin Ming had forgotten about the blue carriage until now. He noticed that it was still sitting there. But now Zhu Yan had disembarked from it. He was holding on to a long sword while staring an ice-cold gaze. It seems I gave you less credit than was due. You are quite talented. In a moment, Zhu Yan had transmitted his voice to Lin Ming. They were two hundred meters away, but it was as if Zhu Yan was speaking right beside him. 
This was a message sent with true essence. It required an extremely high degree of control of true essence to achieve. Zhu Yan must have reached the peak of the third stage in the last six months. Don't think that just because you reached the second stage of body transformation that you are anything special. Beating up some useless potatoes that are on the same level as you is no accomplishment at all. You said that one day you would surpass me? Good. I will wait for you. I will let you know the true difference between you and I, and you will learn that you are not destined to be an elite of this world. An elite of this world? Lin Ming looked at Zhu Yan and smiled. Certainly not of this world. Chapter 33, Strength Trial The Seven Profound Martial House had a total of twenty stone pillars for the strength trial. After the exam begins, the candidates would divide into twenty teams as to reduce the congestion in the square. The twenty stone pillars were set up and in front of the doors of separate entrances to the Seven Profound Martial House. At the top of each stone pillar was a shining light which was the mark of every candidate's destiny. Whether they would pass this gate or whether they would be tossed aside would all be decided by this one number. A roughly thirty or forty year old woman stepped in front of the crowd and stood on a platform that had been set up. Hello everyone. I am one of the supervisors for the strength trial. I would like to announce that the seven profound martial houses examination has altogether three parts. For those who manage to qualify through the end, they will be given an official assessment based upon their age, talent, and result. The top ten will obtain an award, and the number one will be rewarded with a crimson gold dragon marrow pill. A crimson gold dragon marrow pill! The entire crowd gasped in surprise. Even the juniors of the aristocratic families were flabbergasted. Those among them with lower strength were filled with regret. Their faces revealed sorry and depressed expressions as they were destined to never achieve first place. Those that were stronger straightened their backs. Their eyes shone with hope and they twitched around as if they were itching for a fight. They had assumed that this crimson gold dragon marrow pill was prepared especially for them. Lin Ming had read through a medicinal manual before and had a rough sense understanding regarding the properties of the crimson gold dragon marrow pill. This pill was about the size of a grape and was created by mixing a crimson gold dragon's marrow with several species of rare and precious herbs. It would then be boiled and distilled into a pill that would be able to improve the physique, enhance cultivation, and even help break through bottlenecks. The crimson gold dragon was not a real dragon, it was a descendant that only shared some blood. Nevertheless, creatures that were related to dragons were not weak. Even Hotian experts would not be a match. Sky Fortune Kingdom did not have many Hotian experts to begin with and they also didn't have anyone that was capable of refining such a precious pill. Therefore Sky Fortune Kingdom was unable to produce the Crimson Gold Dragon Marrow Pill. Without a doubt this medicine originated from the Seven Profound Valleys. Every year the Seven Profound Valleys would screen talents, and medicines were provided from the main school to attract talented youths to participate. Perhaps to the Seven Profound Valleys, the Crimson Gold Dragon Marrow Pill was not particularly precious. But to those of Sky Fortune Kingdom, it was absolutely a valuable treasure that could not be purchased by money. Even a large aristocratic family would be terribly jealous of anyone who possessed such a treasure. The beautiful supervisor did not seem excited or unhappy as she continued. The second, third and fourth placed will receive a golden snake scarlet pill, and fifth to tenth will receive ten soul-gathering pellets. The golden snake scarlet pill was refined from the gallbladder of a hundred-year-old golden scarlet snake. This kind of gallbladder was named because of its gold-red appearance. It was inferior to the crimson gold dragon marrow pill, but it was also a rare and precious medicine which most people would never see. But the fourth through tenth place only received ten soul-gathering pellets, which were much less rare. Each pellet had a value of two hundred gold tails and ten of them would be equal to two thousand gold tails. But the two medicines given to those that ranked higher were at least ten thousand gold tails. In fact, even if one could pay several times over, they would still not be able to buy one. The rich rewards made the talented candidates incomparably excited. They were impatient to go on stage and show off their skills. Looking at this eager crowd was a group of young men and women wearing silk clothing. They laughed contemptuously. In the group was a handsome youth wearing a jade belt and smiling. The youth's entourage smiled and flattered him. 
These people really overreach. This crimson gold dragon marrow pill is already in young master's pocket. Winning is already a foregone conclusion. Do they also think to try and compete? Truly they do not know their place. The youth faintly smiled and waved his folding fan. He didn't respond. He was a talent of the Yulu City's Wong family. He had a fourth grade talent, early third stage of body transformation cultivation, and had once taken the number one spot in Yulu City's elite competition. Yulu City was a big city, thus this number one spot held some weight. On the platform the woman continued, We will now begin the first round of the entrance exam. Please participate in the exam with your full strength. The light beam on the stone column will signal the strength of your attack. An inch represents 100 genes of strength. As long as you pass 1,000 genes then you will pass this round. Each candidate will have three attempts. So long as you qualify once then you will pass. Everyone, we will now have a demonstration. Linson stepped forwards. As the beautiful lady finished speaking, a man walked up on stage. He was tall and gaunt, almost appearing emaciated, with a pale, cold face and harsh eyes. He wore a black suit and on his back was a three-foot-long knife. Even though it was broad daylight, when he stepped on stage, the temperature of the crowd plummeted several degrees. Is that Lingson? Someone from the heavenly abode of the Seven Profound Martial House. This Lingson was obviously famous, but Lin Ming did not know of him. He turned and asked Lin Xiaodong, Who is this Ling Sin? Lin Xiaodong might not be diligent when it came to practicing his martial arts, but he was extremely gossipy and curious about all matters, thus he knew about matters such as these. He said, Ling Sin is one of the senior apprentices of the heavenly abode which is the fiercest department in the seven profound martial house. He is twenty years old and is a fourth grade talent. His cultivation is at the peak of the fourth stage and he just entered the heavenly abode last year. On his own initiative he requested to be sent to the war front for one year, where he slaughtered countless people. Right now his combat ability is difficult to estimate, but people say that he will soon enter the fifth stage of body transformation. Twenty years old and fifth stage of body transformation? Lin Ming was slightly startled. Generally, martial artists were considered extraordinary if they reached the fifth stage, the bone-forging stage by the time they were thirty. This Ling Sin was also overflowing with killing intent, it seemed he had killed many people in the battlefield. Compared to those with the same level of cultivation, this man was truly a master. Ling Sin loathed demonstrations like this. However it was a tradition that the apprentices of the heavenly abode would show off for the candidates. This was for the sake of letting them know that there was always someone out there who was better, and they should never stop striving to reach the top. Linson casually stood before the pillar, and without even preparing, he casually waved his right hand. A boom, sound was heard, and the stone pillar fiercely shook. The light beam jumped high, stabilized, and finally stabilized at four feet and nine inches. 4,900 genes. In the field everyone was full of praise and astonishment. If Linson had used his full strength, he might even surpass 5,000 genes. Seeing this result, Lin Ming's eyes widened. This Ling Sen's strength was almost double his own, Lin Xiaodong said. It's not anything surprising. He is one of the top talents in Sky Fortune City's younger generation. It would only be weird if he didn't have a result like this, Lin Ming said. One of the younger generation? Could Qin Xingxuan defeat him? Lin Xiaodong shrugged. I don't know Qin Xingxuan's strength but Qin Xingxuan is well-rounded and studies all subjects. Ling Sin only focuses his training on fighting and killing, really he is a man who specializes in life or death battles. I don't think Qin Xingxuan could possibly win if their lives were on the line, but don't forget that Qin Xingxuan is only 15 years old while Ling Sin is 20. Hearing this, Lin Ming nodded slightly. Body transformation had a total of six stages. The further you were, the more the gap between the stages increased. The strength of one in the pulse condensation stage could reach 8,000 genes. Lin Ming was very far away from this state. Exam, begin! At this moment on stage, the beautiful middle-aged lady sent out the order to start the strength trial. The young candidates were all very eager, 
each was itching to get up and test their strength. However, when they actually tested their strength on the stone pillar, there were many who failed. 900 genes, 850 genes, 850 genes, three times failed. Next, 950 genes, 900 genes, 900 genes, three times failed. Next, many of the candidates had barely reached the second stage of body transformation. If they were in peak condition, then they might be able to hit 1,000 genes. However, they could not be at peak condition for every attempt. In addition, they also suffered from nerves and were unable to show their highest level of strength. These people were naturally eliminated. 1,000 genes qualified. Someone in Lin Ming's light passed, and that man shouted happily as he danced around in excitement. The truth was that this man also understood. Although he passed and barely qualified, he would most likely be eliminated during the second round. Even so, it was an honor for him to have passed the first round of the seven profound martial houses entrance exam at 16 years of age. 1300 genes qualified. 950 genes failed. When a result came out, those that failed would dejectedly leave in low spirits. The ones who succeeded were giddy and among them were those that showed indifference. To these talents, passing this trial was a given. At this moment, there was a commotion in front. Lin Ming looked ahead and saw that a youth wearing blue linen clothes was standing in front of the stone pillar, and was gathering his strength. Lin Ming was curious about who this man was. He heard some people discussing. That is Sun Ping from East Water City. He is at the third stage of body transformation. His strength is fierce. As the discussion was occurring, Sun Ping shot forwards. He hit the stone column with a ping, and the light beam began to tremble as it shot upwards. It stopped at two feet and three inches. 2,300 genes. This was the first person who had passed 2,000 genes. The crowd burst into exclamation. Chapter 34 Dream Trial This Sun Ping has already been at the third stage of body transformation for a period of time but still only managed to strike out with 2,300 genes. He's also only 17 years old. He isn't a threat to me, Wan Yanfeng said as he waved his fan. He narrowed his eyes as he gauged Sun Ping. The final evaluation of the entrance exam would be dependent on not only the results of the trial, but of the age and talent grade of those who passed. The younger they were and the higher the talent grade, the higher the evaluation would be. In the many young martial artists and talents that participated in the exam, 17 years of age was considered a bit old. Young master, it's your turn. Hmm. Wan Yanfeng folded his fan and handed it to his attendant. As Wan Yanfeng stepped in front of the stone column, many people began to recognize him. It's Wan Yanfeng of Yola City. As the crowd began to spread the news, the nearby candidates turned their gaze over to him. In this group of candidates, Wan Yanfeng had the greatest chance of competing for first place. Not only was his strength formidable, but he was a youth of 15 years of age. And most importantly, Wan Yanfeng's talent was high. Wan Yanfeng was a grade 4 talent, but the truth was that the grade 4 talents and above was also divided into low, medium, and high quality. Wan Yanfeng was of the rare high grade 4 talents. Wan Yanfeng stood before the stone column and let out a single breath. The breath curled into the air like twin snakes. This was a sign of the third stage of body transformation, viscera training. The surrounding crowd gasped in awe. Seriously, he has just entered the third stage of body transformation and yet he can already breathe out the twin snakes, and he is only 15 years old. This is truly talent that defies the will of heaven. Hmm, martial artists at viscera training have true essence protecting their heart and lungs and other five major internal organs. They can protect their frail internal organs from attacks, and moreover, their heart and lungs are strong. They have abnormal vitality and could prolong their breathing. Their muscles would naturally strengthen under these conditions and rise. This one Yanfeng already breathes snakes but has just entered the third stage. It truly makes one jealous. As this discussion continued, Wan Yanfeng had already struck out at the stone column. A bang rang through the air and the stone column shook. The beam of light jumped up and finally settled at 2 feet 4 inches. 2,400 genes! 
Generally speaking, the average martial artist who had entered the third stage of body transformation would reach about 2,000 genes. But Wang Yanfeng, he had just entered the third stage, was only 15 years old, and yet managed to show a strength of 2,400 genes. It really was shocking to all onlookers. However, before the crowd had recovered their composure, there were cries of alarm and surprise coming from another side. A tall and burly youth had walked in front of a stone column and punched his fist. The light beam rose and fell two feet and four inches. 2,400 genes. Wan Yanfeng's record had just been born but was already rendered average by another youth. Lin Ming looked at that tall and burly youth and was startled to see that he was someone who was also at the second stage of cultivation. It wasn't out of sorts to see someone at the third stage of body transformation reach 2,000 genes, but 2,000 genes at only the second stage? That was just too excessive. By now Lin Ming had noticed that although the youth appeared to have a naive and innocent appearance, his height was higher than those of his peers around him and his muscled body seemed to be thicker and denser than an adult's. Was this what they called inborn divine strength? Those with inborn divine strong were several times stronger than those of their age. Although they were very rare, it appeared that this tall and burly youth was one such type. Wan Yenfeng also saw that impressive youth and let out a light humph. He didn't give it too much thought. Inborn divine strength? Martial artists fought with not just their strength, but also with their martial arts and skills. Not only that, but the higher one's cultivation, the more important true essence becomes. Those who were born with this divine strength did not necessarily become some fierce martial arts figure. The trial continued, and several youths passed with a strength of 1,000 genes that were at the peak the second stage. The seven profound martial house stipulated that the candidate's age must be between 15 to 18 years of age. It was easy for those of this age bracket to have had achieved the peak of the second stage of body transformation. Occasionally there would also be those youths that had reached the third stage of body transformation. These youths had managed 2,000 genes, and some even reached 2,500 genes. Now, it was finally Lin Ming's turn. Before Lin Ming arrived at the stone column, he had already realized that this was a more serious situation than he thought. Although he was confident that he wouldn't lose to Wan Yanfeng, his natural talent was also far from his. It was third grade compared to a high fourth grade. In the final evaluation, Lin Ming would suffer a great penalty. In every round of this exam, Lin Ming had to put forth his whole heart and soul. Lin Ming breathed lightly and let his entire body relax. He eliminated all distracting thoughts and sounds. The true primal cave's formula revolved silently in his body. Compared to a martial art at the same cultivation, his true essence was several times thicker in his muscles. Strength trainings flow like silk, the principles of hardness and softness. Lin Ming engraved these thoughts onto his mind as he meditated with the chaotic virtues combat meridians. His vision condensed and his relaxed body suddenly went taut like a longbow. His waist lowered and he thrust forwards with the strength of his thighs like a sleek and mighty leopard. Bang! The strike hit the center of the stone column. The light beam rose dramatically and crazily bounced up until it settled at 2,700 genes. Lin Ming's strength was 2,600 genes, but if he put forth his full effort, 2,700 genes was also possible. My God! 2,700 genes! This boy, this boy is simply a vicious beast in human form. A few hundred more genes and he would have caught up to someone at the fourth stage of body transformation. No, this isn't right, it's just not right. The young fellow is only at the second stage of body transformation. Is he also someone with inborn divine strength? The crowd wildly discussed this, and some people had quickly recognized Lin Ming. I know that person. Just half an hour ago on the main road he had used his strength of arm to throw off someone on a horse like a windmill. He threw off someone that was also at the second stage of body transformation and was holding a lance on a horse. The man was thrown but the boy hadn't been moved at all. I thought he was some demon child but it turns out he was also someone with inborn divine strength. No wonder he was capable of that. Wasn't he arrested by the authorities? How did he get back? 
As people buzzed, the tall and burly youth who had beaten Wan Yanfeng and reached 2,400 genes also looked at Lin Ming. The youth revealed a friendly expression as he happily smiled at Lin Ming. He had not thought that he would also meet someone with inborn divine strength at this examination, so he was quite sympathetic towards Lin Ming. Wan Yanfeng looked at Lin Ming and frowned. This boy also had inborn divine strength? It truly was annoying. It was like these rare youths were crawling out of the woodwork like cockroaches. Brother Fong, this kid came out of nowhere and dared to steal Broth Fang's limelight. Brother Fong truly was robbed. A man at Wang Yanfeng's side said, Wang Yanfeng said, It's not anything special. Having this result at the second stage of body transformation is decent. Battle prowess doesn't depend on just strength. Although those with inborn divine strength are rare, not many of them have great achievements in the future. Wan Yanfeng said this with a tone of exasperation. Although he had already determined that he would take first during this entrance exam, he was repeatedly overshadowed again and again by these fellow youths which made him feel extremely uncomfortable. What Brother Feng said is absolutely right. In the future what one will need to focus on is the true essence. The superiority of strength is only useful at the start. This kid will only be happy for a few years. Wang Yanfeng's entourage echoed. After Lin Ming, it was Lin Xiaodong's turn. As he approached the stone column he began to turn his neck back and forth and wiggle his waist. He continued this for a few minutes until the examination officials appeared to be increasingly annoyed and impatient. Then Lin Xiaodong finally cried out and punched the stone column. Thud. There was a dull thumping sound as the stone column's light beam shook for a bit and then settled. The examination supervisor frowned as he looked at Lin Xiaodong. 750 genes, but you also have two more opportunities. The result was really bad considering that anyone less than 900 genes would not dare to register. No one wanted to idle in this huge crowd only to end up embarrassing themselves. But in Lin Xiaodong's point of view this result was very good, and he had this natural shameless capability of ignoring the thoughts of others. He wiggled his waist and stretched his neck again, and then punched out again. Pun! 700 genes. Another punch. 750 genes. Without a shadow of a doubt, Lin Xiaodong had suffered a miserable defeat. To Lin Xiaodong, this was a decent result. He was only 15 years old and his father had decided that only when he was 18 would he have any possibility of entering the Seven Profound Martial House. Lin Xiaodong had not planned on breaking through the pulse condensation period from the start, and his only ideal and wish was to preserve his position within the family. I gave you the golden deer pills, did you not take any? Lin Ming asked as Lin Xiaodong walked back. I ate them all, otherwise there was no way I would get past 600 genes. Lin Xiaodong innocently shrugged. He left Lin Ming at a loss for words. However, Lin Ming also thought this was normal. After all, before he practiced the Chaotic Virtues Combat Meridians, his best result was 850 genes. His diligent and tireless training was far above Lin Xiaodong who had only managed 600 genes at the time. It was difficult for someone with only a grade 3 talent and no formidable aristocratic background to enter the seven profound martial house at 15 years of age. Even the first round of the entrance exam was prohibitively difficult to pass. The strength trial finally finished around noon, and the candidates were allowed a short rest before the entrance exam continued. Because the rest time was too short, Lin Ming simply ate a small meal before sitting back in meditation and then hurrying back to the square. The second inspection was the dream trial. It was a test of a martial artist's heart. For a martial artist, they needed not only talent and support of their background, but moreover, they had to be someone with an earnest and indefatigable martial heart. Chapter 35 The Lake's Jade Platform The heart of martial arts was by no means anything that was greatly loyal or virtuous, or even good. Whether it be living Buddhas that brimmed with righteousness or demon sect leaders with dark intentions, the truth was that the heart of martial arts judged neither good nor evil. It only resolved to ask whether one had the determination to tread the rocky path. Practicing martial arts was a daily struggle. One's life would be filled with misery, danger, enticements, 
if one's mentality was not firm then it was easy to fall from the path of a martial artist and give up, thus wasting all previous efforts. Some people only practice martial arts for wealth and sensual pleasures. In the heart of these people they practiced martial arts without truly understanding what it meant. This would not affect them during an early period of cultivation, but as would be an insurmountable roadblock later. The pulse condensation period was enough for one to have a sumptuous and luxurious lifestyle where one could drown in money and beautiful women. Sky Fortune Kingdom had many such warriors. Because Sky Fortune Kingdom would handsomely reward those who reached the pulse condensation period, there were those who would suffer untold hardships to attain this goal, only to halt their path of martial arts because they could not resist the temptation of extravagance. The dream trial did not examine one's cultivation. It perceived one's determination and heart of martial arts. Lin Ming had complete confidence regarding this. Even if he had not obtained the mysterious magic cube, he believed he still had a 120% chance to pass. At this time, more than half of the candidates had failed the first trial, so after they had left the field, the square was much more spacious. Pitiful and sad Lin Xiaodong had already lost the qualifications to enter so he could only stay on the main road beyond the square. Lin Ming turned around to look at Lin Xiaodong. Although there were many people in the crowd, he still saw him. Lin Xiaodong also saw Lin Ming, and he gave him a thumbs up. Lin Ming smiled. When he turned his head he saw a figure in the crowd that caught his eye. The girl wore a form-fitting daffodil yellow dress. She looked to be an aristocratic junior with a top hat made of swan feathers. She stood in an obscure corner and observed everything. Lin Ming recognized this girl. She was Lan Yunwei. Lin Ming quickly turned his eyes from her. He knew that if they saw each other it would only increase Lan Yunwei's embarrassment. It was better to have not seen at all in his heart Lin Ming had not blamed Lan Yunwei for anything. After all, there had only been a silent agreement between them and they had not discussed marriage or anything like that to an extensive degree. Lan Yunwe had made the only choice that an ordinary girl could possibly make in her circumstances. Lan Yunwe did not know that Lin Ming had already discovered her. Lan Yunwe had struggled in her heart for a long time as to whether to come here today or not. She did not want to see Lin Ming, but in her heart was a faint bit of worry, and she wanted to know whether or not he was well. She could only remember back to two months ago when Lin Ming had been trying to sell several inferior and poor symbol papers. The scene in front of the shop had made her feel several points of pity. Supporting one's own martial arts without depending on a wealthy family background, he didn't even have a particularly fearsome talent. He only had meager savings that he could use to rent a room, to buy a meal and some medicines. In these sad circumstances he could probably only afford iron thread grass and perhaps even not that. And if so, then in his body he would have accumulated several internal injuries. These thoughts caused Lan Yunwe distress. She liked his strength and his persistence. She remembered when she was a child. He had protected her from a large group of bullies. He had stood in front of her like a brave knight, arms spread wide, and taken the beatings. He had made her feel protected and safe. But alas... Such feelings were in the end unable to replace certain things she was an attractive girl and had the makings of an outstanding woman. Her natural talent was good and although she was not from an aristocratic family, her family was well off. Such a girl would inevitably have feelings of superiority, like a noble peacock confined to a playpen with chickens. She was unable to convince herself to settle in her ordinary life, a life where she would eventually marry Lin Ming and become the mistress of a family restaurant a life where they would love each other and have little kids at twenty, and then he would gradually age and die, and she would be there by herself with even her looks having gone. She did not want to have such a life. She did not. Therefore she chose Zhu Yen, not only because of the relations between the Zhu family and the imperial family, but he could also help her enter the seven profound martial house. He would give rare and precious medicines to Lan Yunwei and help her enter the pulse condensation period. Under the enticement of the pulse condensation period, Lan Yunwei was unable to withstand her desires. This morning, Lan Yunwei was restless. She did not want to come, but ultimately failed to convince herself. So she had arrived this afternoon. 
she came thinking that Lin Ming would fail the strength trial. As long as Lin Ming failed, he would be able to give up his dreams and go home to a safe life. With this she would be able to relax and lay down all her worries. She did not actually think she would see Lin Ming in the qualifying team. This made her simultaneously surprised and worried. Surprised because Lin Ming had unexpectedly managed to break through to the second stage of body transformation at only 15 years of age and having no family background. Worried because she could not conceive that Lin Ming could reach this stage safely. She only imagined that on his body were several internal injuries, and that he would be nothing more than a cripple by the time he was 30. In the morning, the beautiful lady supervisor of the strength trial appeared once again. She stared down at that crowd and saw that there were still many people remaining and thought this result wasn't too shabby. Everyone follow me. We are now headed to the CJ platform. The crowd of about a hundred boys and girls followed the beautiful woman supervisor as she passed through the mighty and intimidating gates of the Seven Profound Martial House. The Seven Profound Martial House was nestled into the hillsides. There were no tall buildings or massive constructions inside but endless stretches of land and streams dotted with gorgeously designed pavilions. These pavilions were carefully crafted, with smooth, fine lines and surrounded by a perfect blend of scenery. It really made one exclaim in amazement at the seamless craftsmanship and sense of natural aesthetic that went into its design. The crowd people walked for about the time it took to drink a cup of tea, until they approached a deep green lake. It had a vibrant color like living jade. The surface had no trace of waves and was peacefully quiet. The lake was hedged by weeping willow trees, and even though it was autumn when the leaves of trees would fall, it amazed everyone that not even a single leaf had was floating on the calm lake's surface. In the center of the emerald lake, a jade platform had been carved out of pale white jade. The jade platform was joined to the shore by nine stone bridges. It was like a mystical fairy world come to life. Lin Ming found that a few dozen meters from the jade platform was a pavilion that was floating in water. In the pavilion was placed a stone table that was covered with tea and dried fruits. Around the table were sitting several old men and a single girl who were looking towards them with great interest. It was unexpectedly Qin Xingxuan and Mr. Mui. Lin Ming slightly hesitated. Why would they appear here? Mui had also discovered Lin Ming looking towards him and faintly smiled back. Qin Xingxuan also had a friendly smiling face. Lin Ming returned a smile out of courtesy. He had a faint suspicion that the other people accompanying Mui were not simple. Among them were several, who it seemed from their breathing and appearance, were not any less strong than Mui. These people were masters. Lin Ming wasn't mistaken. These people were several of Mui's friends and several officials of the Sky Fortune Kingdom's government. There were also elders from the Seven Profound Martial House. Exams were twice a year, and they would come to observe to see if there were any good seedlings among the candidates. They were mostly looking for those with sufficient talent, and who also had the pure heart of a martial artist. Every year, the candidates had to register their talent and other information in order to enter the entrance exam. Thus the elders did not need to measure, as they had already looked through the files. The candidates this time around were barely satisfactory. The strongest was a high fourth grade talent. Having a fifth grade talent was a once in a decade event and wasn't a usual occurrence. The high fourth grade talents were also good and the low fourth grade talents could make do. The third grade talents were somewhat inferior. The first round of the exam was not anything important, therefore the Marshall House's elders had not made an appearance. They have seen the talent already and this time they came to observe which one of these candidates had an especially strong heart of a martial artist. Come up. Defend your mind, sit in meditation, and once you cross the five trials then you will have passed. The beautiful lady supervisor said. The candidates stepped onto the nine stone bridges one at a time. Their hearts began to drum wildly in their chest. During the first round their hearts had been filled with confidence. They knew the limits of their own strength. Only some of them had thought that they might be nervous and not able to display their full potential, but they knew in their hearts that they did not need to be too anxious about passing. But this time was the dream trial, and they were nervous. Many of the candidates had never attempted the dream trial before, so they did not have an idea what sort of scene they would encounter at the end. 
but they had heard that this was the trial with the highest rate of elimination. It would reach as high as 90%. In a group of 10, only one would pass. One had to know that they were these were the most outstanding talents among those of their age. In a small town or small family or even in an entire city, they were the most splendid and majestic of their generation. They had constantly been revered and labeled geniuses since childhood. But even in such a group of people, most would be eliminated within the dream trial. This trial was truly terrifying. Sit upon the jade platform. After ten breaths the trial shall begin, the beautiful lady supervisor said. Even though she was separated by a far distance, her voice was clearly heard within every candidate's ears. This method of passing messages via true essence was even more profound and powerful than Zhu Yen. Lin Min suspected that this beautiful lady supervisor was a martial artist at the pulse condensation period. As Ling Ning stepped onto the jade platform, he scanned the distant crowd and discovered that among them was Lan Yunwe. She was leaning against a willow tree and was still gazing at Lin Ming not thinking that she had been sighted by him. Lin Ming gave a single sigh and no longer looked. He sat cross-legged on the jade platform. Chapter 36 Lin Ming's Heart of Martial Arts after sitting down, Lin Ming discovered that although the jade platform was built from white marble, there was not the slightest chill in the air. Instead, there was an incomparably peaceful warmth that overflowed. Looking carefully, he could see that the jade platform had been engraved with a number of different lines and symbols. These were runes. This large jade platform was a magic array. It was said these magic arrays were created by the Sientian masters of the seven profound valleys. In them, one would not even be able to differentiate between reality and illusion. However, Lin Ming did not worry. A dream world was still only just a dream world. As long as he reinforced his mind, even if the dream world was boundless and infinite, he would stand firm on the ground. As Lin Ming sat on the jade platform, his mind filled with a bright light. As the tenth breath ended, Lin Ming saw a blinding flash all around him and all the candidates disappeared from his vision leaving only himself. An endless prairie appeared before him, extending as far as his eye could see. At this moment a pack of vicious beasts each as tall as a man darted from the high grass and ran straight towards Lin Ming. The several dozens of beasts were the same first-level vicious beasts that Lin Ming had deboned before. As they ran together, the grass and the ground began to vibrate. An imposing force rolled towards him. Lin Ming did not even blink an eye until the first beast lunged at him. Fu! The vicious beast pierced straight through his body. Lin Ming stood there still safe and sound. But when that beast had pierced him, Lin Ming felt a very intense shock and pressure. Although he knew it was only a dream, he could not rid himself of this feeling as if it were a fear that originated from his soul. This was the effect of a magic array. Even though he knew it was an illusion, it was still possible to lose himself in it. And once lost, he would not be able to tell that it was an illusion. If that happened, then the illusion would turn to reality. If the illusion killed him, then he might even die in this dream. As Lin Ming safely passed this first round, on the jade stage a dozen bright lights flashed. In an instant several people disappeared from the jade platform and stumbled onto the store. These people all had bone-white expressions and their pale eyelids trembled. They had lost themselves in the dream, and once they were lost, they had fantasized that they had been ripped up and torn apart by the dream beasts and eaten, with even their bones crushed. Their fear had grown more and more intense until their minds had been broken and they passed out into reality. At the pavilion, the elders of the seven profound martial house slowly shook their head. The first round of the dream trial tested courage. The martial arts path was full of danger. If one did not have courage to face it, then what was the point of cultivating the martial path? Mui, do you know how ferocious that boy is? He instantly passed. The man who spoke knew that Mui had recognized Lin Ming and that they were acquainted with each other. But Mui did not speak of Lin Ming's achievements in inscription techniques. This was what Lin Ming had asked of him. Mui had only said he knew Lin Ming, and he had come to this entrance exam to take a look at his growth. The beautiful lady supervisor also stood in the pavilion. Because of Lin Ming's outstanding performance in the strength trial, she had kept note of Lin Ming. 
She saw the Lin Ming had frowned for a brief moment, but had restored his calm and tranquility right after. But looking at some other people, they had clenched their jaws tightly, and their faces were changing colors. Obviously, they had been struck by these vicious beasts in the dream world and were struggling in the illusion. The higher one's belief in themselves, the stronger their heart would be. The opposite also held true. These candidates who struggled with the vicious beast had some courage, but they did not have Lin Ming's dauntless heart. Lin Ming was like an immovable rock that had been tested by the passing of millennia. Whatever vicious or wild beast that jumped at him, he would remain steady and true, and the illusion had thus been broken. No wonder you especially came to see this boy, his heart of martial arts is indeed exceptional. It's comparable with Lin Sr., an old man said. Muyi only smiled. He was not surprised that Lin Ming has passed the first hurdle. Qin Xinxuan had also been secretly comparing herself, although Lin Ming's talent was inferior to her by far. His heart of martial arts was surprisingly firm and steady. When she had participated in this trial, during this first round she has spent a period of time, but Lin Ming had only taken a few breaths of time. At this point, Lin Ming had arrived at the second stage. In this second trial the scenery shifted before his eyes and changed dramatically. Lin Ming instantly arrived at a battlefield that overflowed with murderous intent. Scenes of battle surrounded him. Mountains of bodies piled up to the sky and seas of blood flowed around him. Broken spears and swords littered the ground with the crushed bones of the dead. On this battlefield, cries of war suddenly rang through the air. Vast plumes of smoke billowed in the distance. On both sides of Lin Ming suddenly appeared two armies of cavalry. Warriors wearing thick armor and grasping lances approached from his right and left. They had suddenly appeared, and Lin Ming had been stuck in the middle of them. The two mighty forces rushed towards him. Their horrific war cries filled the air with overwhelming killing intent. Lin Ming remained motionless and focused his mind. During the first experience with the illusion, he had been surprised and his heart had fluctuated a bit. But this time he was prepared and he defended his mind. As a result, as the armies approached him they turned into floating ashes. The illusion was broken again. Hmm? Did he break it? Or not break it? An elder looked at Lin Ming. This kid was weird. His expression had not changed even a bit. If he did not see the beams of light that emitted from the runes, then he would have thought the magic array was defective. This boy isn't simple. I don't know if he can continue and break the record. If he could catch up to Ling Sin then it would be a pleasant surprise. The five hurdles of the dream trial. The average person would take an hour to pass them. These past ten years, the one with the best result had been Heaven Abode's Ling Senator he had spent an incense worth of time to complete the trial. This surprised the elders of the Seven Profound Martial House, because except for Ling Sen, the fastest time was half an hour. Ling Sen originally had no wants or needs. He was in essence closest to a cold-blooded killer. As sayings went, this type of person who cultivated the martial path was truly fearful. Ling Sen had proved this point. He was only twenty years old and was a medium fourth grade talent. With this medium fourth grade talent he had become an elder apprentice brother within heaven's abode. Many prodigies with high fourth grade talent had been left in his dust. Now is not the time for flattery. It only becomes hard during the last three hurdles. An old man stroked his beard as he said this. Ling Sen's record won't be broken so easily. This time in the illusion. Lin Ming had arrived at the third trial. The thousands of soldiers and scenes of destruction had vanished. He had arrived in a luxuriously decorated tent. The walls and roof were draped with the finest silks, and a smoky, intoxicating fragrance drifted in all directions. But beyond all the pink silk draping, a dozen impressive young girls danced in the background. Their slim and beautiful bodies were slender and smooth. Their flawless appearance shamed the night moon and the sweetest flowers. As they bounced up and down, they began stripping off their clothes and walking towards Lin Ming. In the next moment, abundant scenery filled Lin Ming's vision. There were boundless amounts of heavy breasts and fragrant buttocks that swayed in front of him. These beautiful women surrendered themselves to Lin Ming and draped themselves around him. Between their every breath, their tempting bodies released the seductive fragrance.
In that moment, Lin Ming felt a dryness and heat from his heart, and a slight stirring in his loins as his bodily blood flow sped up. But he quickly suppressed this heat and guarded his mind yet again. However, these young girls did not immediately vanish. Instead, they were not happy, and pouted as they picked up their clothes. Even their anger was charming as they sashayed their buttocks back and forth as they made their way away from Lin Ming. As soon as they left, the surroundings changed again. This time it was a warm and intimate bedroom. Against the wall was propped a mahogany bed. Sitting on the bed was a woman in a scarlet-lined cotton jacket and a feathered robe. She had a jade pin in her hair that was shaped like a flower. This woman was about twenty-five years old. Even sitting there she released an elegant aura and temperament. Her appearance had changed from what he remembered. Although she had a more mature and seductive charm to her, this was clearly Lan Yunwe. Lan Yunwe. Lin Ming was startled in his mind. Was this Lan Yunwe ten years from now? Behave, don't cry. Lan Yunwe softly hummed a sweet nursery song to a pair of two-year-old babies on the bed. These babies were a pair of matching twins. These babies' features were also somewhat similar to Lin Ming as if they knew that Lin Ming was looking. The pair of babies opened their wide and beautiful eyes and smiled innocently at him. The cry of innocent children echoed into Lin Ming's ears and directly passed into his stunned heart. Lan Yunwe also smiled at Lin Ming. Her delicate red lips parted slightly and she said, Lin Ming, darling, it's very late, you should rest. At this moment, seeing Lan Yunwe and the twin babies' sweet smiling faces, Lin Ming's heart of martial arts shook. A wife, children, and a rich and warm home had he not once wished for such a life for himself. Now he had obtained it. He could stop as this thought suddenly appeared. Lin Ming woke up. He fiercely bit the tip of his tongue and let the pain restore his state of mind. The surroundings changed, and Lan Yunwe and the babies disappeared. Gazing at the empty darkness, Lin Ming's heart palpitated and he was covered in a sheen of cold sweat. Almost. He had almost lost himself. Thinking of the dream visions, Lin Ming breathed a sigh of relief. Everything, all of this and all of her were in the past. Perhaps once in his heart he had held such desires, but those thoughts were in the past. In the past? An ethereal and faintly recognizable voice sounded from behind him. Lin Ming turned around. A woman stood there wearing an alluring Chong Sam. She held a simple long sword in her hand with an imperious and mighty air and had a brave and valiant appearance that accentuated her heaven-gifted beauty. Qin Xingxuan? Lin Ming was shocked. This woman was clearly Qin Xingxuan, and was only a bit older, around twenty years old. Since it's in the past, then how about you cultivate together, with me? We can explore the world of martial arts, together, how about it? As she said this, Qin Xingxuan's clothes unraveled into threads and vanished revealing the most perfect and exquisite body that he had ever imagined possible. Lin Ming had a full view of this, and his heart almost stopped as his eyes widened like saucers. She slowly walked towards Lin Ming. Chapter 37 Invulnerable to Ten Thousand Evils As this beautiful and impossibly exquisite example of womanhood stood before him, this image was unforgettably carved into his mind and he felt the tower of his will tremble in its firmament. His breath became shallow and blood rushed to his head. After all, when it comes to matters between men and women, Lin Ming was still only a young boy. Qin Xingxuan reached her arms around Lin Ming. She was like a warm and fragrant jade that surrounded him and the delicate fragrance of her virgin body wafted into his nostrils and left a strong impact in Lin Ming's heart. Fabrication Illusion Lin Ming squeezed his eyes shut and in his heart he began to revolve the true primal chaos formula. He managed to hold down his quickly fleeing sanity. Lin Ming, do you not like me? This voice was gentle and soft like a spring rain. Lin Ming's eyelids jumped, but he remained unmoved as before. Ah, uh, with a gentle sigh, she let Lin Ming go. Qin Xingxuan stood up, her expression revealing some hidden bitterness, and she slowly departed. The scene before him began to slowly fade away, and the world returned to tranquility. The third hurdle had finally been passed. Lin Ming breathed deeply, his heart still beating rapidly and his palms still wet with sweat. This third trial was truly fierce. 
It had managed to find and unearth the moral flaw in his own heart of martial arts. It seems that he had been too naive. There was no human between heaven and earth that was not without a single weakness. Hmm. This boy has passed the hurdle. It wasn't a short time. It took around half an incense stick of time. An old man looked to his side where an incense burner stood. A single stick of incense and it had been burned over halfway. This boy is different from Ling Senator in Ling Sen's trial. He only used several breaths of time, but this boy used half an incense stick. His heart was probably filled with a girl that he liked. However, as it stands now, he probably won't be able to break Ling Sen's record. The old man meaningfully smiled with a ha-ha as he said this. He he. Valiant heroes have loved beautiful women since ancient times. This is normal. I like this normal part of a hot-blooded boy full of vigor. That young fellow Lingson made me feel overwhelmed. Watching him only let me feel cold and uncomfortable. Several elder teased between themselves because of the generational difference. Qin Xingxuan had digressed from conversation and was peacefully sitting there while she looked at Lin Ming. In her heart a strange thought suddenly appeared. Who exactly was the girl that had appeared in the dreams of Lin Ming? The fourth trial. Lin Ming had fallen into the depths of hell. The surroundings were dark and dim. Lin Ming was immersed waist deep in a thick, crimson pool of blood. White skulls were piled high like mountains that emerged from a sea of blood. The overwhelming shrill cries of ghosts and endless devils that blotted out the sky rushed towards Lin Ming. Ten thousand ghosts want to stop me? Lin Ming sneered and revolved the chaotic virtues combat meridians. His whole body began to shine with a brilliant golden light, and an overwhelmingly pure true essence emitted outwards. Chaotic virtues combat meridians originated from the body transformation manuals found within the realm of the gods. It was said to have been created by a war god Buddha and represented the purest light and yang. It could pierce all evils, shatter all illusions, and cut away all demons within the heart. Lin Ming disregarded these ghosts and demons and continued to revolve the chaotic virtues combat meridians to its limit. My heart is at peace. Not even ten thousand evils can break me. Luminous golden light radiated out, and all of the malicious ghosts and devils it touched disintegrated into ash. Damn! It's over? In the five trials of the dreamland, the first tested courage, the second tested morale, the third tested temptation, the fourth tested one's inner demons, and the fifth tested the will. The first two trials were rather simple. The latter three were on a different level. How they appeared differed from person to person. Lingson had been stuck on the fourth trial that tested the demons in his heart. Perhaps it was because of Lingsen's bloodthirst, but the demons in his heart had been a terrifyingly difficult trial for him. Therefore he had slaughtered in that blood sea for half an incense stick of time and only then did he barely cut away his inner demons. This Lin Ming, does he not have a single inner demon within his heart? His heart and mind are pure. It is truly rare, including the first four trials, only half an incense stick of time has passed. This is a good seedling. An old man exclaimed honestly. As time went on, more and more candidates failed and appeared back on the shores of the lake. The first and second trials were easy but from the third trial and on, the number of people being kicked out sharply rose, and the jade platform flashed with brilliant lights. Lan Yunwe had been paying attention to Lin Ming from a distance. Lin Ming had not always been calm, but his expression was firm and did not resemble the other candidates who had fierce fighting expressions, horribly distorted faces, or were bone white. At this moment, Lan Yunwe had a feeling that she couldn't identify. She somehow knew that Lin Ming had passed, had crossed the trials of the dream realm, and was on the last step before the end. The last trial of the dream. Lin Ming had still not left hell. He was still soaked in the oozing thick blood, but suddenly the blood sea became scalding hot as it bubbled. The temperature had suddenly risen. The sanguine sea seethed with a dark fury. Each bubbling pocket that burst open showered the air with a crescendo of blood. It was as if the blood sea had turned into a lake of flowing lava. Lin Ming could distinctly feel the pain that gushed into his body. It was as if he was being boiled alive in this sea of blood. Although he knew that it was merely an illusion, this kind of pain was incomparable. 
It was a throbbing misery that made him almost wish for death so that his suffering would end. The first four trials were illusions, but he hadn't anticipated that the fifth trial would be true pain. Lin Ming clenched his teeth and desperately clung to his consciousness. When he had practiced with only a tiny amount of iron thread grass to ease his pain, or when he had suffered the agonizing soul-tearing pain of fusing with the soul fragment, he had shouldered the pain. This scalding sea of blood was nothing but a light summer day to him. As Lin Ming thought this, the blood sea suddenly ignited. A combustion of black flames shot to the sky in a hellish inferno. The flames surged towards Lin Ming. Lin Ming could clearly feel the waves of hot pressure pressing down on him. Seeing this flood of flames, an average person's impulse would have been to feel utter and complete horror. Lin Ming suddenly gave a ferocious shout. My martial arts path is like a moth to the flame. You wish for me to turn to ashes in an ocean of ten thousand flames? I couldn't wish for anything more. Flames swallowed Lin Ming. In the next moment, everything turned to nothing, the world became void. Lin Ming stood up and looked around. He had returned to the jade platform. All around him were boys and girls that were grimacing in pain, or had lost all their color. Seeing Lin Ming suddenly open his eyes and stand up, Muyi was startled. He looked at the incense burner. That incense stick still had a tiny bit left. Frosty Ling's record had been broken. Qin Qin Xuan was also incomparably surprised. She had experienced the five trials of this dream realm before and knew exactly how fierce and powerful they were. Although her sixth grade talent was unprecedented in Sky Fortune Kingdom, talent was not much help in passing the trials of the dream realm. Qin Qin Xuan had used less than half an hour, but Lin Ming had used less than an incense stick of time before he had awoken. Anyone would think this was absolutely impossible to believe. Extraordinary! Extraordinary! This is the first time I have seen someone with such a heart of martial arts. Yes, what was his score in the strength trial? An old man asked the beautiful lady supervisor who had been in charge for then. 2,700 genes. Lin Ming had taken the first place in the strength trial. The beautiful lady supervisor remembered with certainty. Oh? The old man's moved and he eagerly asked. What is his talent? Listening to the old man, before the lady supervisor had even replied, Muyi had already said. Grade 3 medium. Only grade 3? The only man was surprised, and he began to shake in disappointment and sighed. What a pity, what a pity! A grade 3 talent wasn't too bad, but it was inferior to the prodigies of the seven profound martial house. However, Muyi said. Sometimes talent isn't everything. Just you wait and see that Lin Ming is a dragon among humans. Muyi said this with confidence. When he had first seen Lin Ming's talent grade, he had been greatly surprised and had thought that there had been some sort of mistake. But he knew that Lin Ming already had a great achievement that many people in their entire lives could not hope to reach. Since that mysterious elder had chosen Lin Ming, then Lin Ming must have extraordinary talents that he could not see. Though Mui spoke with confidence, the other man only shook his head. The role that talent played in a martial artist's future was too vital and important. It was pivotal for their future achievements. With a medium grade 3 talent, even if this boy had massive financial support backing him, he would only end up stuck at the pulse condensation stage. As Lin Ming left the stage, Lan Yunhua, who had been distantly looking at Lin Ming, had eyes full of complex emotions. She had long known that Lin Ming's will was firm and steady, but did not expect that he would have passed the dream trials so quickly. She also now knew that for Lin Ming to give up the martial arts path was impossible. His own determination had reached the highest limit. After Lin Ming left the jade platform, he was led to the resting lounge where he would later be escorted to the final trial, the Exquisite Pagoda. Chapter 38 The Exquisite Pagoda the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda was constructed by the Masters of the Seven Profound Valleys. The mysterious and unknown materials that made it were from beyond the borders of the Sky Fortune Kingdom, and the light that filtered through it made it glitter like translucent gems in the daylight. The Exquisite Pagoda had seven floors altogether. Each was engraved with subtle and meticulous formations. These were a magic array. However, this magic array was different than the one on the jade platform. 
The jade platforms was only an illusion array that provoked harmless dreams, but this exquisite pagoda's magic array was a killing one. The killing array was able to utilize illusions to kill. Those who were trapped in the illusion and died, would truly die. Of course, the exquisite pagoda was only used for the entrance exam, so a death inside was not real. Instead, those that were defeated would only be kicked out from the magic array. Inside the exquisite pagoda, one would not be able to use rare weapons or armor. They would only be able to use ordinary weapons. The trial would depend on one's own ability to pass. As time passed, the number of candidates on the jade stage began to decrease. Each flash of light that appeared signified that another candidate had failed. Out of the hundred people that had started, sixty or seventy percent had already been eliminated, which even included someone at the third stage of body transformation. When he was ejected from dreamland, the third stage martial artist slumped his shoulders and looked dejected. This was his third time participating in the seven profound martial house entrance exam, and he had not thought that he would be defeated this time around. He was already eighteen years old. This had been his last and final opportunity. After less than a half hour had passed, a second person on the jade stage finally opened their eyes. That person exhaled a single long breath and with a pale face and trembling legs, he stood up. His back was soaked in sweat. This person was the high fourth grade talent, Wan Yan Fong. After he stood up he turned to look for the tall and burly youth and Lin Ming who had stolen his spotlight during the strength trial. However, he only saw the suffering burly youth, and did not see Lin Ming. Wan Yan Feng's lips turned up to form a proud and happy smile. However, when the staff led him to the lounge, he saw Lin Ming already inside and meditating in silence. His face darkened. He had thought that Lin Ming had already been eliminated, and hadn't thought that Lin Ming could possibly have passed the dream trial first. This guy. Wan Yefong felt a deep crisis in his heart. Without resting, he left the lounge and found his hanger-ons. He whispered to them. Look up what talent this fellow is. Lin Ming noticed Wan Yefeng's hostility towards him. But this was normal. Each candidate was in competition with the others, and there was only one first place reward. Slowly, the number of people in the lounge increased, and the second trial had reached its conclusion. In the end, out of the candidates that had participated in the second trial, only 92 remained. Nearly 90% had been eliminated. The candidates who had just barely managed to pass the dream trial were not given time to rest the last trial would begin immediately. If they passed this final trial, then they would be a disciple of the seven profound martial house. If they failed, then all of their previous efforts would have gone to waste. The third trial, the exquisite pagoda. A loud and forceful voice resounded in the crowd. This time the supervisor for this trial was a tall, thin, middle-aged man. Though he looked ordinary, his body had an imposing manner that made one's heartbeat speed up. Lin Ming only needed a glance to tell that this person was a master, perhaps even someone who was at the Hotian stage. Lin Ming could not help but sigh. Before coming to Seven Profound Martial House, he had not seen many martial artists who were at the sixth stage of body transformation, the pulse condensation period. But now he had seen at least five or six Hotian masters. However, this was also normal. In Sky Fortune Kingdom, Hotian masters would usually not be found at the imperial palace or even the marshal's quarters. Instead they would be at the seven profound marshal house. Here, most Hotian masters came from beyond sky fortune kingdom, most were disciples of the seven profound valleys. Follow me, the middle-aged man said, and then turned around and walked away. The ninety-two remaining candidates followed after him. Some onlookers also followed after. Not everyone could watch the second trial and third trial. These people following were either nobles or were students of the seven profound martial house. The middle-aged man's pace seemed slow, but the speed was similar to running. The candidates had to race forwards to keep up. After a period of time about equal to how long it takes to finish a meal, they arrived in a valley of the Zhou Mountains. In this valley was a large and magnificent building. The building's entrance plaque had four calligraphic characters written with a large brush. Seven Profound Martial Pavilion 
As they entered, they saw a building that was 200 feet high. This was the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda. Really high! This was Lin Ming's first thought as he entered. He had never seen a building that high before. It had seven floors, and each floor was about 30 feet high. It would take several men standing on each other's shoulders to reach the ceiling of one floor. The grandest temple of Green Mulberry City could only match up to a single floor of this Seven Treasures exquisite pagoda. Now you can go in. There is no time limit. As long as you pass through the first floor you have qualified. The second floor is good and the third floor is outstanding. The fourth floor is for geniuses. As for the fifth floor, he he. The middle-aged man slyly smiled and let the anticipating crowd hang on to his word. It's simply impossible, hearing the words of this middle-aged man, some of the youths remained unconvinced. Wang Yenfeng saw these youths and sneered. What a group of idiots! As if the exquisite pagoda would be so simple. The seven profound martial house entrance exam had three trials. The first trial tested the foundation, the second trial tested the heart of a martial artist, and the third round was the most important. It was a practical test of combat prowess and degree of genius. These genius talents, when compared to their contemporaries, had those with differing levels of combat strength. The exquisite pagoda contained a killing array. The enemies inside came at various levels of strength. The magic array used the age of one's bones to determine which enemies would be faced. The older the bone age, the more difficult the opponent. Because of this, there had only been one person who had reached the fifth floor. This person was not Elder Senior Brother Lingston of the Heavenly Abode, but the girl who seemed to be like gentle water, Jin Xinxuan. A sixth grade talent, this was not a joke. Many people did not know Qin Xinxuan's cultivation, but Wang Yefeng knew. She was at the peak of the fourth stage of body cultivation. She was similar to Lingston in cultivation, but she was younger than him by five years. Although Wang Yenfeng was an arrogant man, he was not arrogant enough to think that he could match Qin Xinxuan. He would be satisfied with the fourth floor. Looking at this Seven Treasures exquisite pagoda, Wang Yenfeng's heart surged with an overwhelmingly strong fighting spirit. For him, the first and second trials of the exam had been empty, and he was unable to show his true strength, so those powerful feelings could go nowhere. But this third trial was a measure of true battle. Strength, skill, agility, and combat skills were all involved inside. Wan Yetfon was confident in himself. He would amaze the world with a single brilliant feat and become an overnight sensation in this third trial. Go in. The difficulty of the trial will be decided by your age. As soon as the middle-aged man waved his hand, the gate of the Seven Treasures Exquisite Pagoda swung open. Beyond the arched entrance, there was a brilliant light shining from inside. Lin Ming took a deep breath and slowly stepped in. At this time, Qin Xinxuan had arrived and was watching the scene. She saw Lin Ming's fading back in the distance and kept her gaze on him as he vanished past the seven-colored gate. Ha ha, Xinxuan, you are very concerned about Lin Ming. Rather abruptly asked this question by her teacher, Qin Xinxuan lowered her head as she bashfully blushed. She said, Qin Xuan cannot hold a candle to the inscription technique and achievements of Lin Ming, but if we compare our fighting ability, then Qin Xuan is a little confident. Mn. Concerning fighting strength, Lin Ming is truly inferior to Yu Xin Xuan. What floor do you think Lin Ming will reach? This is, well, according to common sense, a 15-year-old at the second stage of body transformation would already have a very difficult time. But Lin Ming's strength is much stronger than average. I think he has a possibility to reach the third floor. Qin Xinxuan thought that this was already a very high appraisal of him. If Lin Ming wanted to reach the third layer he would at least need to cultivate to the third stage of body transformation. You're right, but... I think that Lin Ming might be able to give us a pleasant surprise. As Mu Yi and Qin Xinxuan were talking, in an obscure corner of the valley, Lan Yunwe was also distantly looking at Lin Ming's fading back and her eyes were full of complex emotions. As a disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House, Lan Yunyue had the authority to enter the valley and observe the entrance exam. This was the last trial of the exam. As long as one passed, they would become an official disciple of the Seven Profound Martial House. 
With Lin Ming's current condition, he would probably pass the first floor of the exquisite pagoda. She had not thought that only after half a year, Lin Ming would have such an astonishing growth if she had to practice martial arts with Lin Ming in the martial house. Lan Yunwei didn't know how to feel about this in her heart. At this moment, Lin Ming could not read the thoughts of others who were thinking about him. He had already arrived at the center of the killing array. As soon as he entered the exquisite pagoda, the other candidates disappeared from his vision, and only he was left. He appeared in a dark world faded in black. The night sky was carpeted with stars and the ground underneath his foot was hard, black rock. In front of him not too far away, a shadow-gray miasma gradually congealed into reality. It became a warrior holding a long staff. This is the enemy? Lin Ming judged that this shadow warrior's cultivation was around the early second stage of body transformation. The middle-aged man had said a moment ago that the strength of the enemy was determined by one's own age. Lin Ming was fifteen years and eight months old. The enemy's cultivation was the early second stage. Those older candidates would naturally face enemies whose strength was higher. For a fifteen-year-old youth, it seemed he had to defeat someone at the second stage of body transformation in order to pass. Lin Ming no longer wasted his time. His supple body shot forward like a ferocious and vigorous leopard. The true primal chaos formula revolved in him, and true essence pulled in his muscles. The first strike would be a killing one. Chapter 39, Unstoppable Force There were many floors to pass. Lin Ming could not afford to waste his energy and stamina. He had to rush to the top in a single leap and take the first place reward, the crimson gold dragon marrow pill. Seeing Lin Ming flying at him, the shadow warrior raised his staff to block him. But Lin Ming was too fast and before the staff had been raised to his chest, a hard fist had already imprinted itself onto its chest. Pun! The shadow warrior's chest collapsed and it spat blood before it fell over dead. Lin Ming easily passed the first floor. This was natural, as Lin Ming's strength had greatly surpassed those of the same cultivation. On to the second floor. This was still a black space like before, but this time a vicious beast stood in front of Lin Ming. A first level vicious beast. A first level vicious beast was equivalent to a martial artist at the third stage of body transformation. This beast was a single horned rhinoceros. Its strength as a first level vicious beast was relatively poor. It was about as strong as a peak second stage martial artist. Although its strength was rather ordinary, it had superior defensive abilities due to its tough hide. Even if a martial artist greatly exceeded it in strength and cultivation, they must still expend some effort to defeat it. Lin Ming had to overcome several obstacles and did not want to waste his stamina. His hand turned, and a chilly deafening knife appeared in his palm. In Lin Ming's mind appeared the single-horned rhinoceros blood vessels and body structure, with each of its weaknesses clear as day. Lin Ming's advantage was his familiarity with the weaknesses of vicious beasts. The single-horned rhinoceros suddenly roared and trampled towards Lin Ming. Although this was an illusionary realm, Lin Ming felt a rumbling vibration in the ground. An illusion array was not the same as a killing array. In an illusion array, the illusions didn't have the power to kill you, they could also cause you to feel fear. As long as you kept your heart and mind and stood your ground, then the illusion would shatter. But a killing array was different, standing still would only be suicide. As he watched the single-horned rhinoceros barrel towards him, Lin Ming suddenly leapt to one side. His jumping posture was odd. His body was parallel with the ground and one of his shoulders nearly touched the dirt. In the next moment, the huge body of the single-horned rhinoceros passed by him. Lin Ming slammed his hand against the ground and the force propelled him underneath the beast's abdomen. He raised his hand and slashed with the knife. Puff! The boning knife struck just half a foot up from the center of the single-horned rhinoceros' front thigh. This exact spot was the softest patch on the beast's abdomen, and was also where its abdominal aorta was located. The knife slid in like butter and gouged out the beast. A stream of blood jetted out like a broken pipe and the single-horned rhino let loose a keening anguished howl. The vicious beast trembled fiercely and then fell to the ground. Seeing the success of his knife strike, Lin Ming was unable to restrain a sigh as he thought of how lifelike and realistic this magic array was. 
The single-horned rhinoceros phantom had a body structure and weaknesses just like a real single-horned rhinoceros. He thought that perhaps the magic array had a beast spirit of the single-horned rhinoceros sealed inside, thus its potent realism. After the successful knife strike, Lin Ming pulled back instead of taking another cut. Although killing the single-horned rhinoceros at this point was not difficult anymore, he wanted to save his stamina. There was no resting between the floors of the exquisite pagoda. The aorta had been cut open, and the single-horned rhinoceros was losing more and more blood. Its movements began to slow, but this time Lin Ming waited for another opportunity and slashed his knife down again. There was a puff, sound and the abdominal aorta on the other side of the single-horned rhinoceros was also cut. The fight has lost its suspense, it was only a matter of waiting now. The single-horned rhinoceros thrashed about as it teetered back and forth on the edge of death, until it unwillingly went still. Lin Ming had entered the third floor. Oh? Someone has entered the third floor. Outside the exquisite pagoda, several elders had seen that the runes and symbols on the third floor began to move and light up. The third floor was activating, but they did not know who it was that had entered. It should be Wan Yan Feng. He is strongest in consideration of his age. Lin Ming's strength lies in his martial heart and in his inborn divine strength. In terms of combat prowess, strength is only a small part. Speed, skill, and fighting techniques are not any less important than strength alone. Most of the candidates are still stuck on the first floor. That Wan Yan Feng has already rushed up to the third floor is impressive. As these elders discussed, Another person had reached the third floor. This person was only thirty breaths slower than Lin Ming. This person was Wan Yan Feng. Wan Yan Feng and Lin Ming were similar in age, and the opponents they fought on the second floor were the same. Both were first-level vicious beasts that were equal to the peak of the second stage of body transformation. Wan Yan Feng was at the early third stage of body transformation. Not only that, but his combat strength exceeded that of those his age. The vicious beast was not his match, but its skin was coarse and its meat thick and tough. Wan Yanfeng had spent much of his true essence to defeat it. There was no rest in the exquisite pagoda. On the third floor, Wan Yanfeng now came head to head with two dark and shadowy humanoid figures holding two long swords. These shadow warriors were at the early third stage of body transformation. Wan Yanfeng gritted his teeth and maintained his dignified demeanor. He could deal with these two warriors, but he also had to think carefully about how to use his true essence, otherwise breaking through to the fourth floor would become increasingly difficult. He had to make this as quick a victory as possible. He began to revolve the true essence within his entire body, and prepared the display martial skill handed down in his family, the Nine Paths of Truth. At this time, Lin Ming also confronted two early third-stage shadow warriors on the third floor. The third stage of body transformation was viscera training. He hadn't anticipated that he would face something of this level at only the third floor. And there were also two. The difficulty of the fourth and fifth floors could only be imagined and there was no rest allowed between them. No wonder the middle-aged man had so confidently said that the fifth floor was impossible to pass. While Lin Ming revolved the true primal chaos formula, he also cautiously kept the two shadow warriors in his line of sight. For now, the two were motionless. He would be glad to this moment to recover just a bit. Although he had not spent that much true essence but the two warriors did not give Lin Ming the chance. In a single leap they both reached him, one attacked from the left and one attacked from the right, both with vicious killing intent. The two warriors were amazingly swift and had teamwork. Their movements seemed to be in harmony with each other like two halves of a whole. One warrior swept the ground with his long sword. Lin Ming jumped to dodge the strike, but the other warrior took advantage of Lin Ming as he was twisting in the air and stabbed his sword towards Lin Ming's chest. Ha! Lin Ming cried out and suddenly shot his foot out towards the warrior's wrist. Kacha! The warrior's wrist broke with a single kick. However the shadow warriors did not feel any pain. The shadow warrior only shook his wrist and sent an open palm flying towards Lin Ming. Every movement he made left him wide open. These shadow warriors could only aggress. They could not defend or retreat. 
This was a suicidal form of fighting which wished for both sides to perish. This moment was where Lin Ming's old strength would have perished, but he had a new strength now. Seeing his opponent fight with such a self-destructive style, he forcefully revolved the true primal chaos formula and forced his true essence to the forefront. A punch went flying out that intersected with the shadow warrior's palm. Pun! The shadow warrior was forced back a few steps and spat out a mouthful of blood. But Lin Ming's vitality only swelled up. It was easy to force them down, and he didn't even have a single injury. Even so, he was secretly surprised. These two shadow warriors may not have been top-tier martial artists, but they were not weak either. Their close cooperation and kamikaze fighting style were really tricky and difficult to deal with. And this was only the third floor. There was still the fourth and fifth. Although he was surprised, Lin Ming had not stopped moving for a single half-second. He had landed back from the recoil, and while the injured shadow warrior was catching his breath, he slammed his fist straight into the shadow warrior's face. Now the other shadow warrior rushed to intercept him. He wielded his long sword in his hands and cleaved downwards. This strike was to cut Lin Ming in half. Ha! Now it's you! Die! Lin Ming's fist was only a feint. He suddenly turned around with the debonning knife in hand and made a horizontal cut on the shadow warrior's blade. Boom! Sparks scattered everywhere as the blades met. As the knife met the sword, Lin Ming had not been forced back. This was a reflection of his astonishing physical strength. Be defeated by me. After Lin Ming fended off the long sword, he punched out at the center of the shadow warrior's chest. Pun! There was a dull thud as the opponent's ribs collapsed, took a fatal blow to the heart, and died on the spot. After defeating one, the other was already injured and no longer a threat. Lin Ming set out several kicks at the last shadow warrior's legs, and then stabbed him with the knife. The third floor passed. Outside the exquisite pagoda the elders saw the magic array of the fourth floor light up, and they were startled. My goodness, the fourth floor, and it only took half an incense stick of time. Chapter 40 Break Through the Fourth Floor Outside of the exquisite pagoda, the elders saw the magic array of the fourth floor light up, and they were startled. My goodness, the fourth floor, and it only took half an incense stick of time. This one Yan Feng, he's not simple. These elders had already expected one Yan Feng to reach the fourth floor, but hadn't anticipated that he would do it so quickly. At such speed, perhaps one Yan Feng can break through the fourth floor and step into the fifth. Certainly I had thought that the fifth floor was impossible, but he should be proud even with this result. I just don't know how Lin Ming and Liang Tai's Han will perform. Those two's results weren't too bad. Liang Tai Shin was the tall and burly youth who had inborn divine strength. He was also 15 years old. Lin Ming and Liang Tai's Han were 15 years old, had cultivation at the second stage of body transformation, and also had inborn divine strength. This kind of power at their age was definitely impressive. However, in the eyes of the numerous elders, if these two were compared to Wan Yan Feng, there was still a gap. That Lin Ming had inborn divine strength was not wrong, but he was only at the second stage of body transformation. Wan Yan Feng was at the third stage of body transformation. The main characteristic of the third stage was infusing true essence into the visceral organs. Viscera training martial artist's heart and lungs would be empowered. Their breaths would be long and their endurance double that of a second stage martial artist. Without a doubt, Wan Yan Feng also had superior technique and speed. Even looking at strength, Wan Yan Feng's record was only 300 less than Lin Ming. The disparity was not too great. For this third trial, if there was no accident, then Wan Yan Feng would take first place. The third trial also accounted for the largest proportion when it came to the final evaluation. If Wan Yan Feng came out first in the third trial, that in addition to his talent would surpass Lin Ming and the entrance exam's first place would belong to him. However at this moment, the truth was that one Yan Feng was struggling at the third floor. These two martial artists were difficult to deal with. For every few moves they traded, he would encounter one that threatened his life. One Yan Feng used a tremendous amount of strength and true essence to defeat one, but had also suffered a minor injury. Damn it, how is this so freakish? 
Even with the nine paths of truth that is passed down in my family I only managed to kill one. It seems that chances of reaching the fourth floor are getting less and less certain. Wan Yanfeng worried. He had already consumed 20% of his inner true essence. In this dreamland he was unable to supplement it with pills or drugs. He could only depend on his third stage viscera training to supplement his energy bit by bit. Wan Yanfeng was anxious over his true essence consumption rate. But Lin Ming was also worrying over the same reason. He was not at viscera training, but was only at the second stage of body transformation, flesh training. He did not have excessive vitality, and his every move consumed more true essence. Luckily, Lin Ming had the true primal chaos formula and had achieved the small success of the first stage. This ancient skill revolved within him. It allowed him to supplement his true essence with an unceasing supply. Although he could not use it endlessly, it was still able to alleviate the intense pressure he felt. This time in front of Lin Ming, the opponents were two first-level vicious beasts, iron armor bears. There were strong and weak first-level vicious beasts. The single-horned rhinoceros was weak. It was only equal to a peak second-stage martial artist. But this iron armor bear was actually equal to a peak third-stage martial artist. Not only that, but there were two. Lin Ming was solemn. Before this he had never fought against an opponent at the peak of the third stage. He did not have complete confidence in victory in defeating one, and not to mention this was a pair. But most importantly was that this battle had two strict conditions. First, he could not use up his limited true essence. Second, he could not receive a single injury. Lin Ming took a steadying breath as he recalled every detail he knew about the iron armor bear. The iron armor bear's strength was 5,000 genes. Its speed was a bit slow, but the entire body was covered in thick plates of bone armor. A sword or spear would find it hard to penetrate this carapace, and it did not have any specific weakness. Although he knew that the armor did not have any weaknesses, Lin Ming knew that the iron armor bear itself had a weakness, and that was that between the numerous intersections and crosses of the bone armor were a few small slits. The slits were located at the joints. They were thin and hard to target. If he wanted to strike at these places in the heat of battle, he must open his eyes to his insight and utilize instantaneous judgment and peerless accuracy to have a chance. But after practicing the true primal chaos formula, Lin Ming's perception had risen to a new level and his judgment and accuracy had been fostered steadily by his years of debining. Zhu Yan should have easily been able to deal with these two iron armor bears half a year ago, not to mention now Zhu Yan must have progressed. I can't lose to him like this. Lin Ming stared at the two iron armor bears and his fighting spirit began to rise in his heart. Who? An iron armor bear suddenly leapt upwards and smashed its thick, heavy paws at Lin Ming. The iron armor bear weighed over a thousand genes. Coupled with its awesome strength, this strike would have even felled an elephant. Lin Ming's eyes widened and he did not retreat. Instead, like a graceful bird that flew with grace and poise, he passed by the iron armor bear. His eyes focused onto a point of the bear's abdomen where two bone armor plates joined with each other and struck out with his knife. It was only a simple debonning knife, but Lin Ming had practiced its strokes tens of thousands of times. The knife accurately slid between the two bone armor plates. The knife was quick, and with only a slight hitch in the thick flesh, it slid through with extreme speed. As soon as the blow struck, before the time it takes to snap a finger, blood shot into the air. Ra! The iron armor bear became mad. The knife wound had not been fatal and it rushed crazily at Lin Ming. Less than 40 people have been eliminated and more than 50 have passed. This is a decent result. A seven profound martial house elder slowly said as he watched the candidates who had been kicked from the exquisite pagoda. The exquisite pagoda was completely sealed from the outside. The elders were not Cientian experts and had no way to see what was happening inside the exquisite pagoda. They could only judge how far the candidates had gone by which layer they had been ejected from. If they were ejected from the first floor then they were eliminated, and if they were ejected from the second then they passed. A quarter of an hour had passed since the candidates had entered the exquisite pagoda, and all of them had long since passed the first floor. Some had arrived on the third floor, 
and some were even challenging the fourth. Now only five people have not yet come out. As an elder said this, the symbols began to flash on the exquisite pagoda and another two candidates were kicked out. They had been ejected from the third floor, so they had failed at the third floor. Several martial artists had already ran up and were caring for the unconscious candidates. These two candidates were at the peak of the third stage of body transformation and their strength results and then 2,300 genes. Unfortunately they were also 17 and 18. They had not been able to break through the third floor of the exquisite pagoda, but they were also proud of their results. When these two people were ejected, Lan Yunwei immediately turned to them and instantly distinguished that they were not Lin Ming. Out of the 92 candidates that had entered so far, 39 had already been ejected from the exquisite pagoda. Lan Yunwei could clearly see that these people did not include Lin Ming. That could only mean that Lin Ming was still within the exquisite pagoda, Lin Ming. Lan Yunwei lightly nipped her lips as he eyes glazed over with memories. She knew that this meant that Lin Ming had passed, and was at least at the third floor. The third floor was in truth an enormous glory. In the school records of the Seven Profound Martial House, those that passed the third floor would one day achieve the peak of body transformation, the sixth stage of pulse condensation. The royal government would bestow upon all those martial artists of the pulse condensation period a rank and title within the kingdom. Although it was only a third-class viscount, it was not that different from an official position and was even hereditary. This was a noble title. In the Sky Fortune Kingdom, this was a symbol of glory and of the aristocracy. Because of a single person's personal glory, their family would enter the lineage of the aristocracy and bring honor to their ancestors. Just then, another candidate was expelled from the fourth floor. This meant that Lin Ming had passed the third floor. This tall and sturdy boy with thick features was the boy with inborn divine strength, Liam Taizan. He had put forth his utmost effort, and after taking a severe wound had broke to the third floor, and was defeated nearly upon arrival. This Liang Taishan is a good seedling. He's worth cultivating with resources. Hmm, he's quite good. Now there are two left, Lin Ming and Wang Yanfeng. That Lin Ming can persist even with his present strength is not easy. His strength is greater compared to Liang Tiashan's, and he also has a strong heart of martial arts that helps him. But to break through the fourth floor is uncertain. Hmm, let alone Lin Ming, even Wang Yanfeng will not find it easy. Po! With a single stroke from his knife, blood shot out from the leg of the iron armor bear. Lin Ming tumbled away as the angry iron armor bear pounced on him. By now, the two iron armor bears had become blood bears. They each had several more knife cuts across the weak points between their armor plates. While the wounds were not fatal, loss of blood could quickly become deadly. The motion of these two iron armor bears had obviously slowed down from excessive blood loss. Chance? Lin Ming dodged around the two bears who tried to catch him. Their blood loss and exhaustion exposed openings in their defense, and Lin Ming sprung upwards like a cheetah. Roar! The iron armored bear stood up on its hind legs and threw a strike with its paws. But Lin Ming had already escaped, and while evading at the same time, Lin Ming directly stabbed his debonning knife into the iron armor bear's eye. Blood splashed from the grisly wound and the iron armor bear let out an angry and painful roar. Lin Ming closed his hand into a fist and punched down on the handle like a jackhammer, and the debonning knife sunk directly into the brains of the beast. The iron armor bear died.